YouTube, thanks for tuning in again. It's been very hot today, very hot today. I've had to completely wrap the greenhouse in uh, in Shake Off today. This is the, the really good, the, the Shake Off with the aluminium stripes in it. So it reflects a lot of light. Unfortunately, lose a lot of photo transmission fluid, um, which means it's a lot darker inside than I would like. But however, we should go in and have a look and see what the weather's been doing inside the greenhouse and what effect it's been having. I watered everything this morning, so everything got a good damping down. It's currently 26.1 degrees in here and 80% humidity. We'll just have a look and see what the weather got to. 34.5 degrees centigrade. That's even with the swamp cooler running. That's off currently at the moment, but I expect it's been on all day. So like I said, it's been very hot in here today. The swamp cooler's been working overtime. Uh, my wife's had to fill it up halfway through the day. This thing gets through a lot of water, but we'll just do a quick video on this thing. So I got this from eBay for about 20 quid. Uh, it works on evaporative cooling. So you fill it up with water here in there. It has a reservoir. It seems almost counterintuitive to be filling an electrical appliance full of water out of a watering can, but we don't seem to have any problems. Um, I think it came from a hospital because it's got it's got ward numbers written on the top of it uh, in a horrific clip art style font. And so I went and picked this up, uh, and it runs on a thermostat, uh, which is down over the other side of the greenhouse in that electrical pile of mess, which is just a health and safety nightmare at the moment. I am getting the greenhouse rigged up quite soon by a professional electrician and certificated as an extension to the existing wiring system of the house. Um, so it's got three settings. Um, we really want it on max all the time. Um, and this is the, the water pump inside which pumps water over a series of um, like pads, porous pads at the back. And the air is dragged through the porous pads and it uses evaporative cooling to produce cool air which caused the greenhouse, um, like we saw earlier on, the temperature obviously got up in here to about 34 degrees centigrade today, which is less than ideal, but considering outside was 30 degrees, and we managed to keep what is for all intents and purposes a polycarbonate box only four degrees uh, higher than the outside temperature, I'm quite satisfied with that, I think that's very good. Um, I think maybe at some point we'll have to look at getting an air conditioning unit, but that's a whole new ball game uh, and not an avenue I want to travel down just yet. Dendrobium Inspector Bill still looking fantastic up here. The leaves have really started to curl um, up into little spirals and the smell is getting stronger and stronger. Um, back to the evaporative cooler. So I've got this jobby. It's very, very useful. Uh, it seems to do a pretty good job. And we're going to go outside now and have a look at how I've set it up and how I'm using it. So outside the greenhouse again, you can see this is that aluminium um, aluminium strip shea cloth that I'm using at the moment. It's got these little strips of alley inside over and it's sort of woven into this woven material. I'm just holding it on with a series of screws at the moment. I've had to put the side panel on uh, because the weather's just like, we're going through a bit of a heat wave here in the UK at the moment. Uh, I think it was about 31, 32 degrees C outside today. Um, I've also had to cover the front and do the door with it. Uh, but it seems to work really really well so hopefully as soon as the ambient temperature drops and we get back to normal British summer time which usually is about well it's usually raining this time of year I'll be able to take that back off again uh, and at the moment it's like a bit of a spaceship so we saw the swamp we saw the swamp cooler in the greenhouse and we're going to go back and have a look at how I fitted the louvre vent at the back excuse the barbecue believe it or not we have had one of those this year here in the UK you can see the louvre vent is here I've fitted it purposely at this height so we've got maximum airflow into the back of the swamp cooler in the back here and I can just close this up at night I've just used tape just to tape this mesh over the back to stop any little insects and stuff getting sucked inside uh, into the greenhouse uh, and keeping the slugs out um, it seems to work really really well um, so that's the system we're using at the moment uh, and uh, I'm hoping to get an automatic louvre vent open opener for this so I can set it quite low so it's opening up quite early I've also kept the piece of polycarbonate I've cut out and I've retaped the ends so in winter I can take the uh, louvre vent out refit the panel back in and then wrap the whole greenhouse in uh, in um, in bubble wrap uh, so that's my setup that's what I'm using 
Uh, hopefully we're going to get another video out to you guys in the not too distant future. Uh, we're going to be repotting and dividing some plants inside. So only a short video today. Thanks for tuning in and uh, please subscribe.